My name is Elizabeth Strout and my book is called Anything is Possible. I want you to tell me about your experience in stand-up comedy. It was one of the most frightening things I've ever done. I was 35 or 36 or something and I kept thinking to myself, why isn't my work better? What's wrong with it? Why isn't it happening? And then I realized that with stand-up comedy, we laugh when something is said because it's truthful. My whole routine was making fun of myself and being this uptight white woman right. from New England. It's all and these truths about yourself. Yeah, and I just didn't know until I did that. And then I made a lot of jokes about hair, and then I <laughs> wrote Amy and Isabel, which is about an uptight yeah. white woman from New England, although Isabel's not me, but I certainly used what I had learned about myself. And then hair is in that book as well. The beauty of a short story collection yeah. is that you, the author, yeah have this bird's eye view exactly. of an entire city or an entire right. community and right. you get to zoom in and pick right. what we get to see. Right. And there was a line early on in, in this book, someone says, there are some things in life we don't tell others. The whole engine to my writing is always to try and understand what it feels like to be another person because we never know what it's like to be another right. person, which is so frustrating. I think that people always have things that they don't tell other people. And that to me is interesting mm -hmm. because those are the things that people carry around with them. And so if you can go in there as, you know, as a writer and, and sort of show readers, then, then the readers may realize that whatever they are thinking or feeling has been thought and felt before. Mm -hmm. And it's not such a big deal, yeah. you know, really. Well, and I, I have had that feeling while reading your book, so I get that. Um, you, to me, are the queen of creating big feelings in tiny moments somebody makes a gesture or a blink or leaves an item on the floor and there were so many moments in this book where my heart just broke for somebody and it wasn't necessarily in a giant yeah. scene are you the type of person who notices little things about people as you're out in the world i do i notice the tiniest things about people all the time i mean first of all i just i just i just love people i think they're so interesting and for me there's nothing more interesting than people yeah. so i watch them um, and i've always watched them and i've listened and in New York, there's so many people, it's just wonderful because oh, yeah. you can just sit there and people watch people. People watcher's dream. It's just, it is, it's a people watcher's dream. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was very nice to be here, thank you. And thank you for joining us for A Word on Words. I'm Mary Laura Philpott. Keep reading. You know, if I can make up characters, I can make up a reader. My ideal reader is somebody who's receptive to what I'm trying to do, but needs to have it done correctly. How do you know when that reader is satisfied? I don't. Just I just, I just <laughs> hope. <laughs>